method of separating variable costs as well as what? Fixed costs. Don't forget that when a cost has both variable costs and fixed costs, it's called a mixed cost. Now, when you want to separate your mixed cost from your variable costs, your fixed cost from your variable cost, either you use high and low method or linear regression or um, accounting um, analysis, which is subjective or engineering as well as what? The scatter diagram. Now, the linear regression, now we, I have a question here, you can see on, on the board that this is the cost function, this is the formula for calculating B. Luckily for you, um, this will be given, this will be at the back of your, um, what is it called, question paper. This will be, but you need to know it as well. Now, B equals to N, which is summation of N, S, Y. This is summation of S, summation of Y, summation of X squared. This is B, which is variable cost per unit. And Y, we have A, which is fixed cost, summation of Y, minus B, summation of X, divided by N. The N is the numbers, right? Is the number. Now, I have a question here, right? So, I have from month one to month six, then the quantity produced, right? The quantity produced. Now, the quantity produced, QT, will represent your X, which is your levels of activities. Then, the total cost, the repair cost here from this question, repair cost will represent, because it's a cost, right? We represent your Y. The, your output or your levels of activities will always represent your X, Y. Your cost will always represent your what? Your Y. Now, in this question, I required that we should separate the repaired cost into the fixed and variable word component using the word the linear regression method. Now, the first thing you need to do is that let's bring out the month. Month, we have month, right? Month one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Now, the quantity produced will represent your x. Don't forget that from the formula, you have your x and y. Your quantity produced will represent your what? Your x. Now, x, which is your quantity, right? Now, your y will represent your cost. From the formula, you can see x and y. Your y, right, will represent cost. Right? I will see together. Now, you can see that from this formula, I, I was able to bring, I was able to bring x, y, because x will multiply y. That is why I have to separate it, x and y. Now, next is what? Summation of x squared. So we need to get this as well. Summation of what? x squared. So we need to have x squared. Summation of the x squared. What else do we need to have? We have summation of x squared. Now, what we need to have is this, um, we need to have x and y as well. Let's say x, y, and um, x square, right? x and y and summation of what? x square. Then we also need to have summation of y. Oh, we have to adjust this to x, which is the quantity. So this is y which is the cost, then we need to have x, y, because, because of this summation of x, y, then we need to have summation of x squared as well, x, so you can see from the formula I was able to bring out all this, so summation of y, we need to bring y as well, so this now, now, the x now, the first is, I will just use, uh, I will put the zero here, right why this one is or let me just use everything so x is this is x six thousand four thousand five hundred seven thousand five hundred nine thousand right uh six thousand 
and uh, 3,000. Right, so what is the Y, which is the cost? This is 9,000. 9,000. Um, 9,000. This can actually waste time, but we have to know this method as well. So this is 10.5, and this is 7.5, right? So what is X and Y? We can quickly have x and y so we can have 6 times so um, we can have times 9 which is 54 54,000 so this 4.5 times 9 we can have 40.5 7.5 times 12 we can have 90 Right, we can have 90. 9 times 15. 9 times 15. This is 135. And uh, this is 10.5 times 6. We can have 63. 7.5 times 3. 22. 500. So, why we have x squared? So, you raise this power by 2, we raise this power by 2, this is 36,000, so this will give us summation of x, this will give us summation of y, right, this will give us summation of x and y, right, summation of x and y, so you raise this power to, raise to power 2, so this is 20, right? This is 20, right? Okay, this is 20. So the next one is 7.5 raised to power 2, 56, 56,000. So we have 9, 2, this is 8, 1. It's 1,000, this is um, 36, this is um, raised to power 2, this is 9, right? So I already have Y here already, so there's no need for me to put this. I already have Y, right? This is summation of X squared, right? So your total, you add all this together. Summation of x square equals to so what do we have? This is um six plus four point five plus seven point five plus nine plus six plus three. This is thirty six thousand um nine plus nine plus twelve plus fifteen plus ten point five plus seven point five. This is 63. Summation of xy. So we have to total this xy together. Let me see what is the summation of xy. This is 54 plus 40.5 90 plus 135 plus 63 plus 22.5. So this is 405. Right. So what is the summation of this 36 plus 2, 5 plus 56, 2, 5, 0 plus 81 plus 36 plus 9. This 20, 20. Two seven five. Now this is it. We've calculated the summation. So you just for us to actually put it here, right? So now in this case, what do we have left again? What do we have that we need to do? Okay. Now B now is equals to numbers is six. Summation of x times summation of x. What is the summation of x? 
36 minus summation of x and y summation of x and y this is 36 36 times y is what 63 right 63 divided by right the number is 6 times what is the summation of x squared so we need to do summation of x squared what is the summation of x squared sorry is 20 20 2 7 5 minus now summation of x raised to power 2 right so this is summation of so this is summation of x now summation of x raised to power 2 will be 36 right 36 summation of x raised to power what 2 what do I have so it will be 36 Summation of x, this is summation of x is to power what? 2. So 36 is to power 2. So 1, 2, 9, 6. Right? So this is 1, 2, 9, 6. Right? So this is the simplest method. So what do we have here? B equals to, we need to multiply this 36 times, 36 times 6. That is 2, 1, 6 minus 6, 63 times 36. So this is 2, 2, 6, 8, 1000. Right? So we can have this as well 6 times 2, 2, 0, 2, 7, 5. Oh wow, this is one million three two one six five zero minus one two nine six hundred. Right? So what do we have? So two one six minus two two six eight zero zero zero. This is minus 2052 divided by so what do we have here? 1321650 minus 1296600 that is 25. So guess what? Yeah, you can actually ignore the minus, you can ignore the minus sign. So the B, the variable cost will be what? Two zero five two divided by two five six five zero. Right? You can actually ignore the minus. So we have eighty thousand eighty naira per unit, which is the variable cost. Right? So now, why the fixed cost? Why the what? Why the fixed cost will be a equals to what is our fixed cost because your variable cost cannot be minus variable cost per unit cannot be minus you can ignore the minus right so the summation of y what is summation of y here again this is um 63 minus b b is what 80 summation of x times 36 right times 36 Divided by the numbers, which is 6, which is A is equal to, which is the fixed cost, right? 80 times 36. So we still have 63 minus 2880 divided by 6. So what do we have? 63 minus 288 minus 288 0, 0, 0, 0. minus this divided by 6. So the fixed cost is minus 469500. Right? So the fixed cost is minus 469. 469 500 and this is how 
it is being calculated. Now, there are two things involved here. So it's either the question, because you cannot have a negative uh, variable cost. Because of the ne 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 negative variable cost, that is what gives us, what makes it to give us a negative face cost, right? Most instances, it will not be like that, right? But in high and low, using the linear regression like this, you can actually ignore the minus, but it is not usually like that, right? Maybe it's because of the question, right? So, and that is all about um, cost estimation. So, please, you can check the parties question here. Uh, make sure you attempt it and uh, drop it in the comment section. Bye for now.